Hi honeybees, today I'm going to be doing a full review and lip swatch video of the new Tartist Glossy Lip Paints from Tarte. I have all nine shades to share with you today and I'm really, really excited about these. So let's go ahead and start off with the packaging. Like I said, there are nine shades ranging from really light nude to like a really deep purpley plum color. So really good range of colors. The actual box packaging is so pretty. It does have like a very metallic look to it. It has gold um, on one side and then the color of the lipstick or lip gloss, excuse me, with it kind of dripping down. Hope you can see that. It's a really fun design. And then the actual lipstick itself has a metallic gold on the top. Whereas the original TARDIS lip paints just have a matte black. So there's the difference. They are the same size if you're wondering. Now there are a lot of differences between the regular lip paints and the glossy lip paints. Um, the regular lip paints, long wearing, um, more of like a, what's it called? Kind of like a moussey feel to the lips. They're matte when they dry down. So the glossy lip paints, they are a beautiful formula but very, very different than the original lip paints. They glide on feeling almost like water on the lips. It's so crazy how they feel like almost nothing. They feel so good. They're not sticky at all even though they are highly glossy. I do have one on my lips right now. And they do stay pretty well on the lips but they are not kiss res like, you know, transfer resistant. That's what I was trying to say. And they're not transfer resistant, but neither are the lip paints. These do transfer even though they're a bit more long wearing. And they don't last when I eat or drink. But it's not a big deal to reapply this and it just feels so good going on that I honestly don't mind reapplying at all. Um, I just really, really love this formula. I think it's so unique and it's absolutely gorgeous on the lips. It's one of the glossiest highly pigmented products I have. So I will say the nude colors are my favorite, of course, <laughs> but they do have some really fun bright colors as well. Um, I didn't have an issue with them bleeding at all on me. Um, I do wear a lip liner when I wear these though, um, so that may contribute to the wear power of these. Um, but overall, I just really, really love them, and now I just want to go ahead and share all the colors with you. So I'm going to have lip swatches to the side of me so you guys can see how it looks on my lips, but I'm also going to be doing hand swatches for you as well. So the first one here is the lightest of all of the colors. It is called Hella, H-E-L-L-A, like hella good, you know? <laughs> They're really cute names too, I have to say. Um, so that is the new. I do want to also mention the applicator is very similar to the original lip paints. It has that slanted doe foot applicator. It's a little bit slimmer so you can really get into the corners of your lips really easily. And like I mentioned before, these are very highly, highly pigmented. That This is the nude, nudest one, so of course that one might be a little bit harder to show on camera, but also very pigmented. This is like a very creamy nude color, um, like a milky nude. It's very pretty. The next one is called Avi, like obviously, Avi. Um, it's a little bit deeper of a nude, really pretty, very wearable nude. Right there. Also, these do not have any scent to them. That's kind of disappointing to me. <laughs> I like when my lip products have a scent. Um, but they don't have like a chemical scent to them either. The original lip paints, however, these had like a nice minty scent to them, like a sweet mint scent, and I did like that. Okay, the next color is Goals. That's what I have on my lips right now, and this is my most worn out of all nine shades. Ugh, oh, I love it so much. If you watch my vlogs and you see me wear this over and over and over, it's going to be in my April favorite, spoiler alert. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous, wearable color. Has a little bit of a coral undertone as well, but it is more of a nude, and it just works so well with so many different looks. I love it so much, and the pigment is just, uh, it's like I'm wearing a lipstick and a gloss together all in one. Next is called Double Tap, and this is like a really nice, deeper, mauve nude. I would say this would be the most like Kylie Jenner lip kind of 
um, color out of all of them. Really pretty. I think this this is more of my like fall winter kind of nude, the darker ones. This next one is called Dose, D-E-U-S, and this is like the darker mommy of Double Tap. It has a little more brown to it, but it still has a little bit of a, like a purpley mauve to it. I put them next to each other so you can see. The bottom one is Dose, the top is Double Tap. But definitely more of a darker nude would look so great on darker skin tones too. Next color is called WCM and it has like a hot pink undertone to it, but it's a very deep hot pink. Hope that comes off on camera. It does have like a little bit of purple in it, but mostly like a deep hot pink. Next is called Slay and the next three are all kind of purpley shades. This one is a lighter kind of purple mauve shade. It's not really mauve, it's really like a lavender purple. There's Slay and it kind of has like a cool tone grayish coloring to it as well. I don't know how I feel about this one on my lips. You guys will let me know what you think too. Next is called Fave. And this is a bit deeper than Slay but also has some pretty purple tones to it. And I would say it's a little, well it's still cool, it's a little warmer. But it's like a deep, plummy color. They're fun. Not an everyday color for me, but really fun. This last one is called Poison. And this is like a vampy kind of plum color. Look at that, it's like almost black in the tube. Yeah, this is like totally, fun but definitely more vampy. So there's all of the more brighter or darker deeper colors. So as you can probably tell I'm in love with these. I absolutely love the formula and I'm just so thankful to have been sent these from Tarte. Thank you so much because I really wanted to try them out and I'm just so happy I love them as much as I do. I really want you guys to go out and try these especially if you like a glossy lip but you don't like the stickiness and tackiness of a gloss, you will love these. So please let me know if you end up checking these out and leave me comments down below. Like this video if you want more reviews and lip swatch videos and I love you guys so much. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.